Welcome to DWCourse.com, the home of the Dominate Dreamweaver online training course. In today's video, I'm going to answer one of the questions I find most regularly online. Fortunately, it's also one of the easiest to answer. And that question is, how do I center my layout on a web page? I'm going to demonstrate the answer using Dreamweaver, but the principles will apply no matter what authoring system you're using. You'll see I have a nice three-column design, but it stretches from one side of the page to the other. The first step toward centering this design will be to wrap it in a div and give that div a width. So let's select all the content. And if we go to the code view, you'll see basically that means selecting all the content between the opening and closing body tag. Now back in the design view, I'm going to go to the common tab of the insert palette and insert a div. And I'm going to choose to wrap that div around my selection. So I'm wrapping it around all the content on my page. And I'm going to give it an ID, which I'm going to call wrapper. And I'll go ahead and create a new CSS rule as I create the div. In this case, I'll create it in my document, although normally I'd save my styles in an external style sheet. And I'm going to go to the box category and give this div a width. I'm going to make it 800 pixels because that will work best on my screen when I demonstrate. Normally, I'd use a width of 960 pixels to accommodate most modern monitors. Say OK. OK once more. And you'll see now we have a page with the layout that's 800 pixels wide, but it's still flush to the left of the page. To center that page, we need to go back into our wrapper style. So I'm going to open that again. Go back to the box category and choose Unselect Same for All. And we want to set the right and left margins to auto. We'll click OK and you'll see we now have a nice three column design centered on our page. And that's all there is to centering a layout on a page. Wrap the entire contents of the page in a div, give that div a name such as wrapper, and then assign two CSS style rules to that wrapper. One, a width, and the second, you set the left and right margins to auto. Setting the left and right margins to auto is what centers your design. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you back here in the future for more lessons from DWCourse.com.